BMW IBSF World Championships from Winterberg in Germany. The second weekend of an amazing competition with all eyes on bobsleigh. Two woman and four man competitions to determine the 2024 World Champions. The two woman World Championship was expected to be a battle of the Germans with Laura Nolte, Lisa Buchwitz and Kim Kalicki, all potential gold medalists. Opposition would come from American Elana Myers-Taylor, twice a world champion, and Keisha Love. Two heats and the first resulted in a new track record for Kim Kalicki. She went into heat two looking to try and extend the advantage, but Bree Walker had been fifth fastest in heat one and the Australian was looking good again in her second run down the track. She went fastest ahead of Ilana Myers-Taylor and there was delight for the Australian crew. Next to go was Keisha Love, fourth fastest in heat one and looking good off the start once again. 12 hundredths to the good heading down the hill, then it became 11 hundredths but even so Keisha Love was still going to be good enough despite a wild ride off the wall coming out of the zeal curve up to the line and fastest by just two hundredths of a second. It was a tiny margin but enough. It had been a German lockout in Heat 1 with Laura Nolte, surprisingly only third. She had some work to do in Heat 2 and was away quickly. Half a second faster than anybody else on the aggregated times coming through the Kreisel. She continued to stay ahead, 51 hundredths to the good. And then on the run up towards the line, she secured the top slot by 0.68 of a second. But there was still two to go. Lisa Bukovic and Vanessa Mark would go next. And it was a good push as they set off then for their second run of the competition. Fractionally down, became an improvement in the second split. And the speed just got better and better all the way down the hill. Over the timing line, fastest by just four hundredths of a second, but fastest nonetheless. And Lisa Bukovic was absolutely delighted. With a new track record to her name, Kim Kalicki was the last to go. Could she stay on top? At the end of the opening day of the competition was the question. The answer soon came, it was no. The timing graphics were going red, not green. Time was being lost, seven hundredths down. Still seven hundredths down, not improving. Up towards the line and third overnight for Kim Kalicki. Big frustration, but delight for Lisa Bukovic and Vanessa Mark. After the first two runs, a German 1-2-3 with Lisa Bukovic ahead of Laura Nolte and then Kim Kalicki. Keisha Love fourth, fifth, Brie Walker and Ilana Myers-Taylor sixth. And overnight, Lisa Bukovic and Vanessa Mark are the competition leaders. If German crews were expected to do well in two women, so it was in the four-man competition in which Francesco Friedrich tackled his 100th top tier four-man race. Hansi Lochner, Adam Amor and Latvian Emil Stipulis were all expected to be in the battle. 22 sleds across the different nations and high drama in heat one with a new track record from Francesco Friedrich and then a big crash in heat two from Jakob's calendar. Although the sled was able to be tipped back onto the runners and it got to the finish, with all four crew still aboard. 20th in the times would be Calendar. A good run though for Marcus Treichel. He would be fifth fastest at the end of heat two. Not quite as quick as the German opposition, but a competitive run nonetheless, and it keeps him in the mix going into day two of the competition. It was a great reception for him at the foot of the track. A very happy Marcus Treichel celebrating with his crew. The next to go was Adam Amor, and it was a really good start and a really good push and load as well. And that straight away brought them into the mix. Amor was quicker than others in the intermediates. And by the time he got to the bottom of the track, would be the fastest. Whether he could stay there was a different question altogether. Amor across the line, fastest to the delight of the German team. Emil Sapulis had had a rather scrappy first heat and he knew that he needed to turn the tide in heat two. This time around it was a much better start and a much better load, although touching the wall at corner zero just cost a fraction of time, but he was still ahead on time going into the Kreisel. Then though, the time ebbed away. 
was 200s down coming out of the labyrinth as he flashed over the line. Time had been lost. Ultimately, Sipul Eastwood end the day fourth. With two teams still to go. The first of them was Hansi Lochner. He'd been 17 hundredths of a second down on Francesco Friedrich and he won and needed somehow to try to overcome that if he could. It was a good run. He was quicker than everybody that had gone so far. He would set the benchmark time, but whether it was going to be good enough remained to be seen. 17 hundredths back at the start of the run. He was fastest, but then had to sit and wait because the GOAT, Francesco Friedrich, was the next one to go. A new track record had been set by Francesco Friedrich in heat one, and he ended 17 hundredths ahead. He equaled his start time on a 5.00 this time around and just kept on getting quicker and quicker and quicker all the way down the track. That 17 hundredths cushion became 0.27 of a second as he flashed over the line fastest at the end of heat two. A delighted team Friedrich and heat three getting underway tomorrow afternoon. It will see him as the leader with Hansi Lochner second, Adam Amor third, Emil Sepulis fourth ahead of Marcus Treichel and Brad Hall in the mix in the top six. But Francesco Friedrich, the overnight leader. The final of the two-woman competition came down to the fastest 20 drivers, with Lisa Bukvitz ahead of Lara Nolte by just nine hundredths of a second, Kim Kalicki 0.23 behind in third. It started with high drama for the American Riley Tijak after three crashes in three heats, a fourth followed. It was a scary ride across the finish line. She was 20th in the times, having qualified for that final run, but she wasn't the only crasher. From Switzerland, Deborah Annan was another one who would find the going really difficult. The sled flopping onto its side, and another high speed, scary ride to the finish. 19th, she would be classified. There were some great battles for position, though. Alana Myers Taylor was topping the times as a fellow country athlete, Keisha Love, accelerated away. Keisha Love was faster going through the Chrysal, and it was all being built together really impressively. She was in a battle to be the top American and to stay ahead of Australian Bree Walker. Keisha Love went fastest. Bree Walker was the next one to go. The Australians, with a good push, were looking strong, but not strong enough. The start time was a little bit down on that of Keisha Love, and try as she might, Bree Walker was never quite able to claw back the lost time. It meant that Keisha Love would be fourth, and Bree Walker would complete the competition fifth, the head of Ilana Myers-Taylor. Jubilant Americans. Keisha Love fourth with Azaria Hill, Bree Walker in fifth. The medals would be argued over by the German crews. First to go was going to be Kim Kalicki, who had set a new track record in E1, but had fallen to third. What could she do in the final round of the weekend? The answer was another very impressive track record. Fastest in the times, and a 55.84 as a track record, and that threw down a marker for Laura Nolte and Lisa Bukovic, who were still to go. Lara Nolte looking for silver or better. A good push, a good start, a great speed all the way through the Chrysal. She was quicker than Kalicki, and if she was quicker, it would mean yet another track record. Over the line, 55.75 moved the goalposts even further, and that put the pressure on Lisa Bukovic, who would be the last driver to go. Lisa Bukovic and Vanessa Mark. Nine hundreds up going into the final run in the BMW IBSF women's two-person bobsleigh competition, and it was a really solid, fast run. A track record it would not be, but a gold medal it would. Inch perfect. Gold for Lisa Bukovic and Vanessa Mark, and that's a hugely important result for both of them. A gold medal, one better than last year for Lisa Bukovic, and on her birthday, a gold medal for Vanessa Mark. Silver for Lara Nolte and Deborah Levy, Kim Kilicki and Leonie Phoebe taking bronze in third. A German lockout at Winterberg. The final action of the weekend was the four-man bobsleigh world championship decider. 
all eyes were on Francesco Friedrich to see if the reigning world champion could take a sixth world crown in four-man bobsleigh. A new track record was set in heat three, and that moved the goalposts even further away from the opposition. Heat four would prove to be a dramatic affair with a big crash early on from Matteo Variola, the Italian back on his runners as he came over the line. Everybody was okay, but it underlined just how hard everybody was pushing. Another victim of this very testing, artificially iced track was Jakob Mandelbauer, the Austrian in grief as well, back on the blades as he came over the line. And the crash cost him time. But then it was all eyes on the positions up at the pointy end of the field. And heading in the end for fifth was Marcus Treichel. His main target was to stay ahead of Brad Hall and he was doing that as he made the run down the Winterberg track. Ultimately, fifth was secured by Treichel, and he did it only by two hundredths of a second. Silver medalist in 2023, Emil Sapoulis had had a disappointing heat two. Therefore, it was going to be a disappointment no matter where he finished if it wasn't in second place. Even so, it was a good run, it was neat, it was tidy, it was fast, but good enough for fourth. That's no disgrace, but not matching 2023's result. That also meant it was going to be a German lockout as far as the medals were concerned. Adam Amor had had a really good run over the weekend, and bronze, at worst, was heading his way because he was quicker than Sipunis out of the Kreisel. All the way down the track, Adam Amor looked good and looked fast, and he was quickest as he crossed the line, and he would finish no lower than third. Bronze was guaranteed. Having had a scrappy heat three, Hansi Lochner knew the pressure was on in this final run. He had to try somehow to find over six tenths of a second to defeat Francesco Friedrich. That, in truth, was unlikely. Silver, therefore, became the target. He had to outpace Adam Amor, and that he did with alacrity, crossing the line to be the fastest, three tenths quicker than Amor. Silver guaranteed, but what would happen for Friedrich? The answer was that it was going to be another stellar run. A great push meant that it was a start time of just under five seconds, the best of anybody in Heat 4. And the margin kept on building. For Francesco Friedrich, a sixth four-man world championship and a time better than eight tenths of a second clear of anybody else. It was quite an extraordinary performance. Francesco Friedrich, world champion from Hansi Lochner and Adam Amor at Winterberg.